And one of the reasons this undersized Gopher team has been so competitive is because Jamison Battle is so strong on the post, he can play fours, and he's tough enough to play against fives. Catches the rebound away from fellow Southpaw. Minnesota coming off a of grain where they shot it great from three, getting to the rim. It's E.J. Stevens. High-level defenders, but Minnesota's done that a lot. Whenever you take a step up to this level of competition, you usually can't get by guys, but Coach Johnson said, we have a lot of guys who can get downhill and get to the rim. And here comes Battle and Minnesota. Locked at six, opening couple of minutes. Battle already with four, and he's got six of the eight. He's got it here, late clock, two to shoot. Gets tripped up, and Battle's out of there with it. Two on two the other way, and he rips through, and Battle... I think he's on probably pole 11. They used to tape in the game, right? Tape in the game or streaming on the app. <laughs> That's right. Well, McGee's had a quick start, and you see the, the lightning quick ability on the drive that he has. Games against high major teams, no points against Wisconsin. Kansas State in the last one barely let him touch it. There's McGee with the quicks, trying to give the Phoenix the lead, and they've got the early go-ahead. So no threes have fallen yet, and that's adva advantage Green Bay. They don't hit a lot of threes. Like to make it a grind it out. Game down there, and Ansong breaks free for the dunk. Minnesota has really made it tough out on the perimeter, and Willis jumps the passing lane. Got Ivory on his hip, and an easy two. Well, Minnesota still trying to get it going from outside. That is a two, but Curry with plenty of range. A little messy sideswipe when, when soccer on him. There's Battle attacking the rim. So Minnesota trailed most of that first half. Now working with the lead and building on it with Willis. And down to the final couple seconds of the clock. Into Curry with six to shoot. Works his way in on Meyer. Pretty hook for Curry. Those two are a problem. Ivory with the miss out of the timeout for Green Bay. Forced to take it with Minnesota running. And Stevens up ahead. <laughs> Flashbacks to that Kansas NCAA tournament game. Hey, Farouk Manesh would have one assist a week, my man. You, uh, Not eight. <laughs> Not eight. <laughs> Didn't see this coming out of Curry this year. I like seeing the green and white approaching the double-double. There you go. Today against the Phoenix. There's Meyer. Sneaks it underneath Curry. That is best. Driving inside. Not there, though. Willis feeling good. And that counts. Plus the foul. Talking about the Minnesota starters, a lot of it comes from those first five for the Phoenix. Sutherland splits it. And a whistle as he finishes. That's a block. Another and one for the Gophers. Get you out to Jason and Brian when this one closes out. There's Kellogg, strong left, and there's the acrobatic finishing ability of Kellogg. Yes. Open, Claflin misses, and Sutherland active on that trip down. Here's Stevens, he had battle running with him, didn't need him. Counted in one. Well, several years as an assistant, he was probably ready a few years before that. Of course, an assistant with the Gophers previously. Willis, strong to the rim, but Tucker resisted. Needs that one last assist in the final six minutes. Would be a second double-double. Had one against Princeton. That came in double overtime, though. Sutherland to the left. And the shooting lows continue when they do get an open look. Seven to shoot. Jenkins got his go. man up in the air. Nice. There you go. Against Bo Ryan in Wisconsin. Won an overtime game. And Minnesota's put the throttle down in the second half. Myers trying to keep him close. On the road, Mississippi State yep. went down to Starkville and won. Beat Pitt in non-conference as well. And there's Battle stretching out the lead to 10 plus again. Gophers trying to close it out, these final two. Get to 10 and 1. McGee with the fall away. Tough shot for Kamari McGee. It'll be interesting to see how Green Bay handles it when Lucas Stieber comes back. Stieber had been the point guard the first nine games. And Sutherland to the rack one more time. So, you know, you typically look to Lowy or Stevens to be that third and fourth scoring option for Minnesota, but Sutherland can score it off the bench, too. And, you know, Battle can fill it up. 23 for him. 
Still just two one-loss teams in the Big Ten. The Purdue Boilermakers, number three in the country, and the Minnesota Gophers going into Christmas at 10-1. Thank <laughs> you.